Hello Audacious Church, my name is Clara and I'm part of the Central Team and I'm Audacious College student. Today I will bring my devotion and theme for this devotion is Jesus is my guide. The main scripture is Proverbs 16 verse 3 which sounds Commit to the Lord whenever you do and he will establish your plans. So, I don't know how about you, but I would love to know what's God's plan for my life for the next 5-10 years. I just want to have control. I just want to have a map with all the instructions and just go and follow all the steps. But Jesus wants to be on this journey with us. So, we don't need a map with all the instructions. We just need the guide. Jesus as the guide. The guide will, us, will give us information in the right time and we will just follow instruction of our guide and to be honest with you I am learning how to make Jesus my ultimate and constant guide in my life every single day I believe that lots of us including me are afraid that we will miss God's plan for my life when we need to choose our future school or job or career we could be so afraid that we will miss his plan for our life. But last month I have been meditating on cooperation between my free will and God's plan. Previously I have been thinking that it's either my free will or God's plan or it's 50-50. But during last month I have discovered that my free will and God's plan works together. I have free will for 100% and God has his plan for my life for 100% I know it's some crazy but our mind is so limited to understand God completely but imagine this if you have your own line only in your hands you will be paralyzed to do every decision because everything would matter the time when you set up from your home the path which you choose, everything would matter and you would be just paralyzed. On the other hand, if God has our plan and our choice didn't matter, we would be like just little robots and without free will. So I have realized that all my steps, action and mistake couldn't destroy God's plan for my life. Yeah, obviously my actions have consequences but couldn't destroy God's plan for my life. His plan is much more greater than all my actions and mistakes. All that I do with fits into God's plan A for my life. God has planned everything, but he doesn't do it despite my own choice and my own will, but he do it through my choices, through my will. I'm obviously free in making choices, but God is in charge. So I should do my best and then just relax and trust in God. But let's be practical. And as I said, I'm part of Odysseus College and in the end of college in June, July, sorry, I need to make decision where will I live and what I will do. It's quite a big decision. So here's some tips which can help you if you have some big decision ahead of you. First of all, pray about it. I know it sounds like basic advice, but if Jesus is my guide, guide, the guide just want to spend time with me. So pray about it and just spend time with your guide. And the second is this. I believe that God created us with some skills, abilities, and all this we can use for our next steps, which will fit into God's plan. So just ask yourself, what's my spiritual gift? What's my heart's desire? What's my abilities? What is my life experience? And the answer of all these questions can make your decision-making process much more easier. So, if you can remember only one thing for this devotion, remember this. You don't have to have the map if you have the best guide ever. So, commit all your plans to him and he will guide you. So God bless you and have a wonderful day.